Yeah, Dave, a notable day for the silver and black. The Las Vegas Raiders naming Sandra Douglas Morgan as their next team president. The El Dorado High School graduate takes the helm of an organization that's known to make history. From hiring the first Latino head coach in Tom Flores, the first African-American head coach in Art Shell, and even the first female CEO in Amy Trask, the Raiders are never shy when it comes to breaking barriers, now naming Sandra Douglas Morgan as the first black female team president in NFL history. It's my honor to be here today as the newest member of the Raiders family. From being a former chairwoman of the Nevada Gaming Control Board to serving as the first African-American city attorney for North Las Vegas, Morgan joins the Raiders with an impressive resume and deep roots in Nevada and especially here in our valley. I have been the first in, in other positions that I've held, whether it be city attorney or the Gaming Control Board. I definitely never want to be the last and I went to get to a point obviously where there is no, no more first. Um, but as I kind of mentioned in my comments, you know, the, the impact that this has is not lost on me. The longtime Las Vegas resident is now tasked with leading a Raiders organization that's known to blaze a trail, despite being in the midst of numerous complaints by former employees about a hostile workplace culture. As, you know, a local who grew up here, this is a dream come true. This wouldn't have been possible for someone in Las Vegas to have an opportunity to lead a professional sports organization more than three years ago. Um, so, you know, the the opportunity that Mark has, has granted and just being a part of the Raiders is obviously an incredible privilege, but it's just as important that he understands the value that I could bring as well. You know, she was recommended by several people and then, uh, you know, we, we like I say, it was an exhaustive search of talking to a lot of qualified candidates, but every time it just, she seemed to rise to the top all the time. Well, former Raiders owner, the late Al Davis, was a champion for creating equal opportunity. And with today's hiring of Sandra Douglas Morgan as the next team president, it looks like his son and current team owner, Mark Davis, is carrying on that legacy. Reporting from Allegiant Stadium, I'm Tina Wynn.